Hello guys, welcome to another hands-on tutorial of OpenCV using Python and in this particular video we will learn that how can we perform binary operations on two binary images using OpenCV. So in this video we will learn about how to perform AND, OR, XOR and NOT operations on two binary images. But before I start the video, I want to remind you that if you haven't watched the theory video for the same topic, then you can uh, check out the link given in the description and that will lead you to the theory video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, I have to import my OpenCV by typing OpenCV by importing CV2 and then I have to first load my two images. I'm going to name my first image variable as img1. And then I have to use my cv2.imread method. And then I have to pass on the location of my image. So my so the images that I'm going to use are this uh, image one and image two. These are binary images. That is, they have two colors, black and white. So I'm going to pass this location here. And I'm going to type the names of my images. So I'm going to write here binary pick one and then I'm going to copy paste it and I have to do the same thing for image number two. So this is going to be then binary pick two and this is my image number two. Great. Now I'm going to perform my AND operation. So to perform the AND operation, I am going to First, create my final image variable, which is my final and and then so I'm going to use my bitwise method, bitwise add, uh, bitwise and method. So I'm going to write here cv2 dot bitwise underscore and and then I am going to pass my two images, which are image number two and image number one, and I'm not going to apply any mask. So I'm going to write here mask is equal to none. So I'm now I'm going to show my image. In order to show the image, I'm going to write here cv2 dot I am show, and then I'm going to first write the title of my window. That is a window that will contain my image, and it is going to be and output, and my final image variable is final and. And I want the image that uh, shows on the screen as the output to continue to remain on the screen until and unless I close the window. In order to do that, I have to simply write here cv2 dot wait key and I have to pass zero. And if I run it by pressing control shift and F10 or by pressing the uh, green triangular icon present on the upper right corner of your screen, you can see I get output as this. My original images were this, image number one was this and image number two was this. So you can see that how the AND operation has been applied on both pick one and pick two. If you are not familiar with what is AND or XOR and NOT, then you must go through any article or any tutorial available on uh, YouTube because I'm not going to go into the details of AND or XOR and NOT. This was your AND operation. Now I'm going to perform the OR operation. So in order to do that, I have to simply use my bitwise OR method. So I have to write cv2 dot bitwise underscore OR. And then I have to simply pass my two images, image two, image one, and I'm not using any mask. So mask is equal to none. And my final image variable is going to be final OR. Now I have to show my final output. In order to do that, I have to simply write cv2 dot im show, and this is my or, and this is also my final or. Now if I run it, you can see that my or output is this, and my and output is this. Now I have to perform the xor operation. In order to do that, I have to simply use bitwise underscore XOR, uh, XOR method. So I'm going to write here cv2 dot bitwise XOR. And then I have to simply pass my image number one, image number two, 
and I'm not applying any mask again. So it is going to remain constant. And then I have to show my output. In order to show my output, I have to simply type cv am show XOR output. And this is going to be my XOR. And now if I run it, you can see my XOR is this. Now I'm going to uh, use the, uh, now I'm going to apply the not operation, bitwise not. In order to do that, I have to simply use bitwise underscore not. Uh, not. Now not operation is going to be applied on each image uh, separately because it, it, it inverts the pixels present in the image. So for image number one, I'm going to uh, write here final not one for image number one this is my Im final image number one where my not operation is applied on image number one so i have to simply write here not and this is on image number one and then i have to apply my not operation for image number two so this is for my image number two and now i'm simply going to show my output in order to show my output, I'm obviously going to use cv am show, and this is for not output one, and this is my not one, and similarly for image number two, final image number two, I'm going to just replace one with two. Now, if I run it, you can see that my not applied on image number two looks like this not applied on image number one looks like this and my original images were my image number two was my image number two was this so my image number two was this and you can see that how the colors have inverted themselves the places where white were present it has become black and vice versa for the black case so my image number two now looks like this and my image number one looks like this here you can easily see that the white space has been replaced by black and the black and the white space has been replaced by and the black space has been replaced by white so this is how you can apply your not operation so that was all for today guys in this video you learned that how can you perform and or xor and not operations on two binary images and we will meet in the next video until then bye bye